there. I thought I would share this um, technique that I did in my art journal because there were a lot of people asking me, how do I do this? And um, I kind of like how this background turned out. Um, and it's very simple to make. Whether you're doing this for an art journal, for your crafts, or just fun to do with your kids, um, it's really simple. And today I figured I'd show you how to do it. So, um, all you need is some water in a cup, obviously. Um, some paint brushes. I used a bigger paint brush um, for putting on water. And then I have a couple other different sized paint brushes. And you need water and you will need plastic wrap. But I might try to use the plastic wrap that I used yesterday. So, what you're gonna do first is you could either wet the whole page or you can do it by bit, but um, what I did was I, um, I wet the whole page and I'm just putting paper behind it so it doesn't ruin anything else on my, ruin any other pages. And I'm just gonna put water down. Because what we're doing is a wet on wet technique. And again, this is so super easy to do. And it would even be fun for the kids. So I've got all my papers wet. And I don't know, I'm just going to start going with different colors and just kind of <clears throat> putting them wherever I feel like it. With giving it the wet on wet look, it kind of, um, with the water on the paper, it kind of spreads them a little easier, which is kind of interesting. You got to work fast before the water dries, but it is okay to add um, more water to your paper. And I'm not doing anything in any particular order. I'm just kind of putting it out there. And I'm just kind of letting the colors mix if they do, which is okay. And I'm adding just a little more water.
behind it. Okay. You gotta be a little careful though because you don't want it to muddy up on the paper with the colors. All right, and now when you get your paper covered the way you want it, I'm just gonna take a little of the excess water off some of this. Um, you take your plastic wrap. I used this yesterday, so I'm just reusing it. <clears throat> and you can just crinkle it. So it has wrinkles and you put it down over the paper it's okay if you press it down it's not really hurting anything it'll mix the colors And now that I got it down, you're gonna wanna let it dry. And once it's dry, it gives a really neat texture in the background. Um, and that's really all the simple that it is to do. And if you wanna see what it looks like, you will probably have to restart this video. And then you can use it for whatever you want. You can use it if once it's dry, cut out shapes or whatever you want. You can draw on it. I drew on mine, but I will probably um, draw on this one. And I might make another one because I really like this. And um, I really like this. So I'll probably make another one and use it to cut out some shapes with my die cuts. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you try it, I'd love to see your pictures in the comments. Have a good day.